Shalom Ya Shirala, Shalom Raka the Yahawa, Raka the Yahawa Shai, Raka the Yahawa, Raka the Yahawa Shai, Raka the Yahawa, Raka the Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great Muslim who teach world and world who's happening is true. Peace and salutation to our people, fellow neighbors, and fellow neighbors, pushing this truth every single life to the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwith, Akwith listening and learning, Shalom. Right? Honor prophesying the downfall of America the Great, known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. Right? Prophesying the downfall of Esau Edom. Right? You know you're an Israelite, right? I said, do you know you're an Israelite? Israelite. Oh no. You didn't know that. Where's your dad from? Trinidad. Trinidad. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay. No, no, it's true. So you're the true Jew, not those Jews over there that say they're Jews. You're the true Jew. God's chosen. And his name's Yahweh, and his son's name Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, who the world calls God, meaning he exists. Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus, meaning he saves. And he only came for you, the Israelite. Okay. All right? Thank you. Yeah. So you're out here to prophesy the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great. Known as Babylon, the daughter of the Chaldeans, the virgin daughter of Babylon in the scriptures. Right? And we'll get right into it. Right? About the Jacob's trouble that's coming, man. Right? On Israel. Israel. Great tribulations coming, man. Right? Great tribulation. Second Timothy three <coughs> verse one. Right, and you Israelites, two thirds of our people out here, are gonna get caught up in this Jacob's trouble, this tribulation, these perilous times. Right? And unless you repent, you're gonna perish, man. One third alone is gonna get delivered out of it. The, the elect, the hopeful elect. Lord willing, we're that number. Second Timothy 3, verse 1, and it reads This know also that in the last days, right? These are the last days we're in right now. Right? According to scripture. All these signs and these prophecies, measuring the time diligently, you know, second Ezra chapter nine, you know, verse one, right? Measure all the times diligently. And how do we measure the times, man? By keeping watch. Right? And attaching scripture to the signs. So we, we know based on the signs we're in the last times. In the last days, perilous times shall come, right? Perilous. Right? Dangerous, treacherous, perilous, life-taking times is coming. Right? Daniel 12, verse 1. Right? Two-thirds of our people, Israel being a people before a place, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, are getting primed for the slaughter, man. Esau Eden is about to roll, right? Perilous time is about to come, right? Up here in Canada, I did a video on it a few. I did a video on it a few days ago. Quebec announced that uh, the province of Quebec, which is the neighbor to us, Ontario, right? Quebec is where Montreal is, right? Ontario is where Toronto is. We're in Toronto, we're in Toronto right? Uh, Quebec announced that they're uh, launching a. a, a a crown, a waters, digital passport, and unless you can prove through this platform that they're launching, unless you can prove you've been double punched, if and when they go into another lockdown, those who aren't in the in in the system will not be allowed to partake. You know, restaurants, schools, pubs, outdoor events, whatever it may be, man. Right? And these are the times that are coming. It's going to get worse. 
Daniel 12 verse 1 and it reads, and at that time shall Michael stand up, right? And Michael, he's the archangel Michael under Yahweh Shai. Look at the whole, the host of heaven, the armies, of, the, the whole, the armies of heaven is a, is, is a military, man, right? With ranking, right? Michael the RJ, RJ, archangel is just a, 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 look at it as a general in the in in in, in, in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's army, right? It says in Exodus. Exodus. Where is that scripture? Exodus chapter. <clears throat> Salat. Where's that precept, man? Mind you, on a brain freeze. Where Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a man, of, a man of war. Salak, I'm in Genesis. Exodus chapter 15. Why is it Genesis? Salak. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord, all caps, Yahweh. As a man of war, the Lord, Yahweh, is his name, right? So these hosts of hosts of heaven, right, the angelic forces, they're military of the Most High, right? So Michael, the archangel, shall stand up, right? We'll get back to that. Daniel 12, verse 1. <clears throat> Out here warning the sheep, warning Jacob, telling Jacob to repent for the times that is coming. Daniel 12 verse 1, and at that time Michael should stand up. It's a lot. And at that time Michael, st Michael, stand up, shall stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, right? The children of whose people? Yahweh, by Shem Shai. Who are you Israelites? Israel being a people before a place, right? And there shall be a time of trouble, right? And these are the times that we're entering into. A time of trouble, right? There shall be a time of trouble such as never was since... There was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, right? The elect will be delivered. Every one that should be found written in the book, right? The elect. Beginning with the elect, will be delivered out of the time of trouble. This time of trouble that's coming, a time that's never seen before. <clears throat> Doesn't it say in Matthew 24, verse 21? time like no one no, none other Matthew 24 verse 21 red letter our Lord said this Matthew chapter 24 verse Matthew 24 verse 21 and it reads for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world right Yahweh I said this red letter our Lord right Yahweh Shai, who came, Yahweh Shai meaning he saves, he delivers, who came for the children of Israel and nobody else, right? For then shall be great tribulation, such as it was not since the beginning of the world to this time, right? Great tribulation is coming. Yahweh Shai said this, right? Such as it was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be, right? This time is coming. 
nothing is going to compare to it, man. Absolutely nothing. And unless, unless two thirds of you, you people, you Israelites out here, they turn to the true power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they're done, you're through, you're going to fall victim to that, man. And this time of trouble that's coming is going to be famines, pestilences, swords, right? Man invading one another for lack of bread, armed with the sword. Let's get that. Second Ezra's in that pocket. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right, woe, destruction to the world, this whole planet, and them that are in it. <coughs> right? For the sword and their destruction draweth night. Right, what's a sword? Today's sword, modern day sword, is a gun. Right? Draweth night. It's near. It's here. It's just about here, man. Right? We see things waxing worse and getting heavier and heavier, man. Right? And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands, right? Armed people rising up against one another, man. right? Right? It's going to be a time like no other, right? Lights may go out, no food, food shortages, empty store shelves, you know what I mean? A time like no other, right? Cannibalism's coming back in, a, in, in, in the worst way, man. People going to eat their kids, right? No joke. Repent. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, right? Sedition means pushback. We see that. <coughs> People pushing back against the authorities, against the governments, against the ruling class elites. Pushback, right? Sedition among men. It's on a worldwide scale right now, right? These are the signs. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, right? They're not going to regard their, 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 their decrees. <clears throat> they're not going to regard the martial law. They're going to do what they want. Of course, if their actions will stand in their power, they're going to do what they want. Armed with the sword, man. Armed with machines, guns, burners, eaters, whatever you want to call it. Right? You ever watch that movie Black Summer? The second season just came out. That's an accurate depiction. It's a zombie apocalypse movie. But that's an ac accurate depiction of all hell breaking loose. Black Summer, man. Right? It's accurate. Verse 17, Second Ezra 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? All these checkpoints gonna get put up. Right? You're not gonna be able to go two block radius, three block radius without uh, being asked for your papers, man. Or you might not, just, not, might not just, ultimately you won't be able to go anywhere unless you have that MOTB. Right? And this, this, this whole jab and waters, is, is, is a forerunner to lead, lead leading into that, man. Two thirds of you Israelites out here are, 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 are gonna, are, are, are gonna be, 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 be slaughtered, man. Let's read that again. Second Ezra 15 verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, right? That famine, the word will probably be a full bloom by then. That's when, he, that's when Jake gonna be looking for uh, 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 the, the, the street teachers, man. Right? Asking, 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 asking for the prophecies. Right? Verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Right? Spoil. Spoil meaning to rob, to take. Right? So a man's going to roll up in your crib, roll up in your house with his gun his knife, or whatever weapon he has, and take, and take your shit, right? A man shall have no pity, no pity, upon his neighbors, but shall destroy their houses, right? They're going to ravage, pillage, take your wife, take your kids, take your canned goods, your water. This is the time of Jacob's trouble that's coming, right? No pity, it says, upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Why, why are they going to be doing this, man? Jacob's trouble. What is Jacob's trouble going to entail? Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, right? Lack of bread and great tribulation, man. People are going to be starving, right? And America the Great, Babylon the Great, this whole Western society is a, a 
a, a, a society of dependence, man. Right? Nobody out here know how to grow their own food. And the one and two mans that know how to grow their own food is a small window. The season up here, it snows up here, man. So that means that how many mans know how to build a greenhouse? <laughs> so you can grow your food year round. Listen, it's a society, it's a, a society of dependence, man. And Daddy Esau, Esau Edom, the ruling class elites, Babylon the Great, they created it that way, man. Ultimately, the Mosai Yahweh Bashim El Shai put the spirit on them to create that, this, this, this Babylonian system, right? But it's a society of dependence, man. So when, when, all, when, when all hell breaks loose, when the grid goes off, when the grocery stores, stores are, are, are empty, right, that's when you're going to see man invading one another's house to spoil them of their goods. Jeremiah 30 verse 7, it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Right, once again, it's, tell, it's telling you here in the scripture, no, no day is like it. The hell that's about to break loose. No day is like it. That day is great, that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, trouble. Perilous times, man. Trouble, straits. Straight means difficult. Right? Right? But he shall be saved out of it. Right, the elect. The elect shall be saved out of it. Right? Lord willing, we're of that number. Right? Because the time that is about to come, 2 Ezra 16, verse 7. Like. Right? And when they tell you, when they tell you no movement, stay in your house. All this beta testing, stay in your house. Shelter in place, quarantine, can't go here, can't go there. Right? Because another lockdown's coming. And it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be more amped up. It's gonna be locked down on steroids. Right? Second Ezra 16 verse. 68 and it reads for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you right the, the, that burning wrath is an anger man a perpetual hatred whose hatred whose great anger Esau Edom the ruling class elites right great anger kindled over you who's the you the, uh, uh, the Israelites right you so-called indigenous you so-called Latino you so-called you so-called Negro man For behold, 2nd Ezra 16 verse 68, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols, right? Two-thirds are going to fall in that category where you're, where you're snatched up, man. And they're going to feed you with things, being idle, idle, FEMA camps, internment camps, right? Have you locked up, right? And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, so if you consent and you say, you know what, give me that, give me that, that MOTB, you know? You know what I mean? Give me that MOTB, I, I comply. You're done. It's, it's curtains, right? And they that consent, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot, right? Destruction. Lord God will, will grab what happens to those that have the MOTB, right? In Revelation chapter 14, Lord God will grab that next. Verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection, great insurrection with these militaries, man. This is part of, this is all, this is all part of Jacob's trouble. Insurrection, a tumult, an uprising, right? A great insurrection upon those that fear the Most High, <coughs> right? Beginning with, beginning with the elect, right? Right, two-thirds of people being caught up in it, caught up in it, right? There's going to be an insurrection against those that fear the Most High, man, right? For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, right? They're going to tell you, you can't participate in society because you refuse this MOTV. You refuse to get down or lay down, right? This is all going to be happening while all hell's breaking loose. They shall be like they shall be like mad men, sparing none, right? These militaries, 
<coughs> these UN troops, they're gonna be like madmen, sparing none. I saw a video the other day of, uh, over there in uh, uh, what's the place called? Uh, is it Myanmar or whatever? That place over there in uh, Asia, there where there where there the, the troops. The, the video show, uh, showed a troop, a soldier <coughs> with his rifle using the head of a medical officer like a base, like a baseball man. He was swinging like it was a golf club, man. Right? That's a, that's an insurrection. You know what I mean? Military might exercising their forces. Right? They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the, the, the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their houses and cast them out of their houses. Then shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Right? So, those that refuse, then shall be known who are my chosen. Right? But us in this truth, we have no worry, man, because the scriptures say, his elect will eat, man. Job 5. His elect will eat while all hell's breaking loose. Job chapter 5. Verse 19, and it reads, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Deliver who? The elect. And we're, we're at the end of the six, the, our, our, the, the six, tr six troubles. We're at the tail end of the sixth trouble, Salah. Right? Going on into the seventh trouble. Right? <clears throat> yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Right? Seven, seven means completion. And what is the seventh trouble, man? The nuclear fire, man. The destroying wind. Jeremiah 15. The destroying wind, man. That nuclear fire. ICBMs. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Jeremiah 51. Verse 1. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, thus saith Yahweh. Behold, look. I will raise up against Babylon, against America. The Most High is putting his spirit on these other nations, right? I will raise up against Babylon, right, America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, right? That destroying wind is the thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, which is going to sweep, sweep America the Great, the lake of fire, right? Revelation 7 verse 1, right? Right now the angels are holding back these four winds, the destroying wind, that seventh trouble, right? Till the elect are sealed. But once the elect are sealed, it's all hell gonna break loose, man. Revelation 7 verse 1, and it reads, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds, right? The destruction that's coming, man. That nuclear fire. These angels are holding back until Yahweh until Yahu B'Shem Yashai Gives the green light and says, let it loose. Holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. Right? And I saw another angel, verse 2, <clears throat> ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. Right? That's at the wab, that mark, that spiritual mark. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, Till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads, right? That's that spiritual mark, that's the law. So until they elect, the 144,000 get sealed, <clears throat> these four winds, this destruction is getting held back. <clears throat> right? And we're in that, we're on the cusp of that, man. The ending of the sixth trouble going into the seventh, which is that nuclear fire, that destroying wind. Job 5, verse 19, once again, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, right? The elect won't get delivered out of the six troubles up until now, right? Go get through Jacob's trouble. Get through the the, the, the straight the the, the, the the straight gate. Right? In seven there shall no evil touch thee, right? That nuclear fire won't touch you. Two thirds of our people, the ones that make it through the famines, Jacob's trouble, the sword, the pestilence, ultimately will be missile food. But the elect will get beamed up. <coughs> Along with the mixed multitude, their households, their helps. Right? Verse 20. 
in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Right. Jacob's trouble is going to entail all of this. This is a, Jacob's tr trouble is going to be a cocktail of famines and wars, sword, death. Right. World War III going to be popping off. People are going to be eating children. Right. Yo, listen. Jacob's trouble. Listen. Famine's a serious thing, man. Let's touch that. Famine is no joke. <laughs> Boiling children. You hear people, you hear women, you hear Eve all the time. You hear women in general say, I'd never eat my kids. <clears throat> They're lying. When, Mo, when the Mosai gives that real hunger, man. You ever see that movie, The Road? They had cellars full of people. Just waiting to be chopped up and cooked, man. Cellars, like basements. <clears throat> this is like uh, during the nuclear holocaust, after the nuclear uh, 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 fallout. Road. Look it up. Look it up. It's a, it's a good movie. There were the, there there are militias collecting people. Deed them, man. <coughs> so like Lamentations four verse nine, and it reads, "They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger." Right? It's better to die by violence, a gunshot. You know, stab, violence. It's better to die by violence than starve to death, man. For these pine away chicken through for want of the fruits of the field, right? It's a slow death. You're thinking about the food, man. Your body's eating itself. <clears throat> the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. The pitiful woman. Those suffering in the time of Jacob's trouble. The hands of the pitiful woman. Pitiful woman meaning you're suffering, right? Have sodden. Sodden means to boil their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people, right? And this happened during the siege. This happened during 70 AD, right? Right, and in history, and nothing new under the sun, it's gonna happen again, Deuteronomy 30 verse seven. It says, I'll put the curses, let's get it. Right, Jacob's trouble is gonna be a time like no other. Repent. People out here murdering it up, thinking everything. Deuteronomy 30 verse 7 and it reads and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies beginning with Esai Edom the main enemy but it goes for all these other nations the, 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 the Ishmaelites the Moabites the Ammonites right all these other nations are the enemies of, of, of Yasharala Israel being a people before a place beginning with Esai Edom and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right? Them that hated thee, which persecuted thee. Famine's one of them curses. Yo, the children, it says here, the, the children, the, 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 the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Boil their own children, man. Right? We're going to see famine and death 2.0. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Right? their meat. They ate them, man. These women ate their kids. Right? But the elect, verse 20 right here, Job 5 verse 20, in, in, the, in famine he shall redeem thee from death and a war from the power of the sword. Right? The elect will be, will, 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 will be protected. Man. While people are bugging out, eating each other, chewing off their arm limbs. Right? Armed militias raiding you for whatever, you know, finding a uh, uh, doomsday prepper bunkers, <laughs> right? The left, the left, gonna, the, listen, the left gonna be catching hell, but the the, the, the the grievous deaths are gonna come upon two thirds of our people. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death, and in war, from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, right? You're gonna be hit. You're gonna be hit from the naysayers, the, the scoffers, right? The smear campaigns, right? Neither shalt thou, neither, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, right? The spirit is gonna be on his men, the elect, not to be fearful of none of these things, man. The Most High is gonna put the spirit on his elect to be, to be, to, to not, to not waver. While all hell's breaking loose, you gotta be in a you gotta be in a strong spirit. All hell gonna be breaking loose. We're gonna be seeing bodies, <coughs> bodies, man, in the streets. Hazmat suit, hazmat suit, troops.
somebody's covered. Somebody's won't be even covered, man. You're gonna have to be in a spirit to walk through that, man. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, right? The Most High gonna put it on you in your mind, right? To it's a light thing. It's, you're gonna be laughing at the demise of the heathen. You're gonna be laughing at the demise of two thirds, right? Two thirds of, 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 of you Israelites, right? Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee, right? Wild beasts gonna be roaming, zoos, <laughs> zoos. <laughs> wild beasts that escape from zoos. It's gonna be all hell out here, man, right? You should be at league with the beasts. The beasts will over, they'll walk right past you, we'll eat a two thirds, right? Right? Psalms 37 verse 19. Right, the Most High is going to cover his elect. Psalms 37 verse 19 and it reads, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right? Is elect going to eat, man? Right? right? Shall not be ashamed. And we're going to give all power and glory to Yahweh. We're going to give all power and glory to Yahweh by Shem Shai when that time comes. Right? Right? They're like, they're like going to be going through it. Right? But when they get through it, it's going to be to magnify the Most High. Yahweh by Shem Shai. Right? While all, while, while all hell's breaking loose, while Riz is touching. Psalm 30, 37 verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Right, the elect shall not be ashamed in the evil time. What's the evil time? Jacob's trouble, man. A time like no other, man. And in, the, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right. The most I will provide, man. Right. And we, we, Lord willing, we're of that number. The elect will have that faith. Isaiah 16. Right? And all these all these prophecies are gonna to come to pass, man. Mosai is not a man that he should lie. Isaiah 65, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore will I number you to the sword, right? The elect. The elect is numbered to the sword. Right? Sword being violent death. Sword being uh, uh, the gun. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter, right? Two thirds. Because when I called, right, when 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 he, when he called, and, and how does he call? Through through the through the prophets, through the mouths of the prophets. Because these words are the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? So when he calls unto his two thirds, through the mouths of the prophets, right? Because when I called, you did not answer, right? You know, we see it, they scoff, they laugh. You tell you tell a man's you're an Israelite. You're, God, you're, you're the most high chosen. You break down the names. You break down some of the curses. And they keep it moving. They laugh, man. Because they're, they're entrenched in, in, in Kemet. They're entrenched in, in, they're entrenched in Buddha. They're entrenched in, they're entrenched in, their, in their, their, their Rasta beliefs. They're, they're entrenched in Caesar boards here at Jesus. Right? They're entrenched in the harlot houses. They don't want to hear this. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes. And they choose that we're in, I delighted not, right? They chose all these other philosophies, all these other gods, right? Two thirds of our people. They did that. Right? Two thirds. <clears throat> right? The image of Caesar boys here. Right? They chose they, 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 they choose that we're in, I delighted not. Things that the most I don't like. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, right? So while the one third, while the elect is eating, Getting through Jacob's trouble, your ribs gonna be touching. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Right? You're gonna be your 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 spirit's gonna be broken, man. You're gonna be shaking and woof. You're gonna be eating rubbish, man. You are, you're going to be digging through dumpsters. You'll eat dead carcasses in that day. Dead carcasses. 
And that's a lot. Not to eat, not, not, for, for us Israelites. Not to eat anything that's found dead, found perished. Right? <clears throat> that's what's coming. Repent. That's all a laughing matter, right? <clears throat> Ezekiel 5 verse 17. This is what's coming. And we see it happening already. <clears throat> the news doesn't stop reporting on it. Grocery sales are grocery stores are reporting that they're stocking stocking supplies in anticipation of a shortage. Right? And this is uh this is Ezekiel 517 pertains to uh during the uh Babylonian captivity, but it pertains to today, man. Because this is one of this is one of the weapons of the Most High Yahweh Shem, right? There's there be spirits created for vengeance, right? Sirach 39, <clears throat> famine being one of them. Ezekiel 5 verse 17. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, right? You know what it means to bereave, man? Bereave <laughs> means <laughs> bereave. In, in the job force, you, 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 you're, you're allowed bereavement time off to grieve the loss of a loved one, man. Right? <clears throat> so will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. Right? Pestilence and blood, and you're going to bring the sword. Two-thirds of our people. Right? Along with these heathen nations. We, Two thirds of our people are gonna get caught up in it, man. And we don't business about the two thirds. We don't business about the heathens. But we still gotta call a bit to the marriage, <clears throat> right? In, 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 in anticipation of sealing the elect, there may be some elects still in the two thirds that need to get plucked out and return to the true, true name, <clears throat> Yahweh Bashim outside. right? Repent and be converted and healed. Luke chapter 21, a time like no other. Luke chapter 21, verse 9, and it reads, red letter, our Lord said, Yahweh Shai, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by, right? Us in this truth, we're rejoicing. When we see all these uh, news reports of doom and gloom, rumors of war, because we know it's got to come to pass. We're not terrified. We're not troubled by it. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, right? Nation against nation. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall, be, shall there be from heaven. All this is happening right now, man. Earthquakes, famines and pestilences are just starting to ramp up. All these blood moons and, and, and solar eclipses, those are signs from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Right. The elect are going to be uh, demonized, vilified for pushing this word. Some are going to get locked up. Some are going to become martyrs for this. <clears throat> and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer, right? So even, even though some of us do get delivered up to judges and magistrates, don't dwell on what we're going to say to the courthouse, man. Right? Why? <clears throat> For I will give you a mouth. How wish I said this? It's still red letter. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. Right? The most I will tell you what to say in that time, man. Right? Right? Some of us may get delivered up delivered to the guillotines, but in the process we're rebuking Esau Edom in front of his courthouse, man. <clears throat> right up until the guillotine chop. I'm magnifying the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? And we pray that the Spirit is honest in that time. Lord willing. <clears throat> if we if we if we be one of the the, 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 the martyrs, right? And ye shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death, right? It's going to happen to some of the elect. 
right? Because it's going to be vilified, demonized. We see it happening already. Esau's uh, putting his smear campaign on, attaching, attaching Yasharallah's name to, to uh, some of these Moorish, Moorish practices. These guys that are over there arming up and saying they're sovereign and they're not under the laws and jurisdiction, right? And all we're doing is, is uh, all we're doing. Is, is, is quoting scripture and reading, pro read, reading the prophecies. Right? Because it says, it says, uh, let's get a scripture. Now I wish I said, ah, uh, uh, I'll rise to the prey. Let's get that. So no, we're, 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 we're just pushing the word and getting our minds right for the, for the times that are coming. Zephaniah 3 verse 8, and it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, right, the elect. We're waiting on Yahweh Shai, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them, right, he's gathering these nations to, 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 in, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, the, 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 the Lord's judgment, right, to ultimately into World War III. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, right, all these other nations, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, right? We're waiting on Yahweh Shai, man. We're not trying to arm up. Right? But we know through these scriptures, some of us are, are, are going to get delivered. Right before judges and courthouses and, and, and all, that, all that kind of thing there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Verse 17, Luke 20, 21, verse 17. But, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not one hair of your head perish. In your patience, possess ye your souls, right? Keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability. Pushing this word, doing the work, and waiting on Yahweh Shai. Right? Waiting on, waiting on Yahweh Shai. Right? But in the meantime, <coughs> We're warning of the time that's coming, man. Right? Matthew 7, verse 14. And it reads... The elect gonna be going through it, but we're gonna be delivered, man. Lord willing, we're that number. The elect's gonna go through it, but the hedge, that the wild, that spiritual mark, will be on his. Matthew 7, verse 13, and it reads, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate. Hey, you know you're an Israelite, right? You know you're an Israelite, right? An Israelite. Jake don't want to hear, man. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way. Right, the straight gate. Straight meaning difficult, man. Difficult times is coming, man. Right? For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Right? A lot, a lot, many. The gate's wide that leads to destruction, man. A lot of people gonna be destroyed, man. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way, right? Difficult. Straight meaning a time of difficult. Straight is the gate, difficult gate. And narrow is the way. This is red letter, by the way. Yahweh Shai said this. And narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, right? Few are going to enter in at the straight gate. But it's not going to be easy. Right? You're going to catch hell. And few, be, and few there be that find it, right? Only the left. Only the left find the straight gate, man. Right? 
Oh, we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Shai, we got to enter into it. Let's get that in Acts 14. Acts 14. And also, Lord willing, the spirit will be on us to endure. Acts 14, verse 22, and it reads, confirming the souls of the disciples, right, the elect, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, right, exhorting. Exhort means to build up. We build up each other through these epistles, right? The elect, through these epistles to one another, right? Through phone calls to one another, text messages to one another, fellowships to one another, right? And exhorting them to continue in the faith, right? Building up, stay in the faith, right? And that we must through much tribulation, much tribulation. Jacob's trouble is going to be destruction and slaughter to the two-thirds, right? But the next still going to catch hell, right? But the scriptures say we'll make it, we'll make, we'll make it through, man, right? We must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, right? We gotta go through hell to enter the kingdom of the Most High, which will be established on earth, on earth as it is, is in heaven, right? Going to some more Jacob. Second Ezra 16, <clears throat> verse 18, and it reads, Let's go into some more Jacob's trouble. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginnings of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, right? These are the times that are about to come on us, man. The beginning of famines and great death. The beginning of wars, right? And the power shall stand in fear. Who are the powers? These rulerships, these governments, right? These ruling class elites, they're standing in fear, right? The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn unto the... They shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of their scourge. Right, two thirds of their people are gonna, they're not gonna repent, man. Right up to the missile, right up to the missiles are flying. They're not gonna repent. Right? Jake won't see the missiles in the air. <clears throat> right? Arcing and flying. And that's when Jake will want to call on the names. They're gonna be calling on the wrong names. Right? <clears throat> and the Mosai is not gonna hear him. Verse 32, 2nd Ezra 16, verse 32. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wash old. Right? Nothing's going to be tilled. Right? Shit's going to be decaying. Right? Infrastructure going to be abandoned. And their ways and all their paths shall go full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Right? This is going to be the times of Jacob's trouble, man. Right? The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Right. Women out here ain't gonna have no bridegrooms or husbands. Why? <clears throat> their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Right. The wars. World War III gonna be popping off. Right. Man showing no pity on his neighbor gonna be popping off. Right. Men, yo, listen. Two, thir two thirds of the men. Two thirds of you Israelites, you so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro, the men, they're gonna perish some some horrific deaths, man, if you don't starve. If you don't starve first. Let's read that again. Second Ezra 16, verse 33. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. Alright, these women out here ain't gonna have no men. But the men gonna be dead, man. You know what I mean? The women shall mourn having no husbands, their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the war shall their bridegroom be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine.
hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of Yahweh. Right, the elect. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Right, don't believe these heathen false gods, man. These idols out here, man. Behold, the plague draw nigh and are not slack. Right, it's on, it's on, it's on our doorstep, man. Right? Oh, hell won't break loose. Right, and that's when a man, a man of the Lord, is going to be as gold, man. Isaiah 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Right, these women out here are going to be catching hell, man. Women are going to be a commodity in, in the time of Jacob's trouble. <laughs> man's going man's to be collecting women. Women are going to be like currency in the times of Jacob's trouble. Right? Isaiah 4 verse 1. And this is what's going to be happening in that day, the time of Jacob's trouble. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right? Called by thy name. Oh, uh, how do you get called by a man's name? Uh, 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 you get called by a man's name. Esau's way is uh, uh, marriage. But marriage is an act of sex. Sex, is, sex consummates marriage, man. So these women out here are going to be looking for a man of the Lord. Right? Seven women. Seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven being complete. Completion. So seven women are going to be looking for a man. <clears throat> right? Right? All hell going to break loose out here, man. Repent. Isaiah 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. Hiding place from the wind. The wind signifies the destruction, man. Right? A man shall be a hiding place. Which man? The elect. And a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, right? You women out here are going to need a man, a man of the Lord, a true man of the Lord. A woman ain't going to make it out of Jacob's trouble on her own, man. And, and, and two-thirds of, two of the men of Yashir Allah are going to perish. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> that's it on that. I pray you edified, right? The Spirit was on me to talk about Jacob's trouble, right? Bracha for Yahweh, Bracha for Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Double honors, Akim, Akwith, Elder Apostles, Elder Apostle, Great Muslim, double honors. You taught me this truth. Stay praying, I pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherallah, Wa, Abad, Babal.